Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Got a couple things going against us today. It's gonna rain. It says I've got about an hour or two. I want to get some of these mamas moved and I will be happy with just getting one of them moved today if we can beat the rain. I wanna get Willow's group moved. They're one of the older ones and I'm going to be moving them over to the small barn here. Eventually we wanna get all five mamas moved over there. Some of them will be in pig loose, some will be in the barn. But we want these areas to start healing up, getting uh, the manure out of here, and getting them ready for our summer mamas. The piglets are old enough now that they can be moved out. We don't really feel like they need to be in the farrowing barn that long. So we're trying to get them moved out. So we got the rain against us, and I'm going to try and videotape this. So whenever you're videoing, it takes a lot longer. Let's get everything going, see if we can get it done before it starts to rain on us. All right, guys, fences are up. Got Isaiah out here to help me. Brooke's gonna be coming too. I need to rake and clean out this barn. We're gonna add some new hay to it. And uh, then we'll be able to get some pigs. The wind is picking up. It's starting to, starting to spit a little bit of rain. We'll see if we can get it knocked out. Got the old hay dumped. We've got to get some new hay. Here are the piggies coming over. Good morning, Willow. They've already had breakfast. Well, mom's already had breakfast. Looks like the pigs are even having, are either having breakfast or a mid-morning snack, but mom won't be an issue moving over. It's these little hogs right here that don't really follow a bucket yet. So let's get the fresh hay in there. Isaiah's already grabbed the charger getting that ready for the fence. Let's get over here and see if we can get it done. Besides the hay, we also like to sprinkle it with diatomaceous earth, the food grade kind you can get at your feed store. That just kills any fleas, mites, ticks, anything that might be in the old housing. And we always get asked all the time, why do we use hay instead of straw? The reason is we have hay readily available. Um, the pigs will eat some of it. It cannot be their full diet, but they will eat some of it. Whatever they don't eat, they'll bed down in. So those are ways we get our new pens ready for new pigs. Hope that answers a couple of your questions. All right, guys, we've got it all set up over there. It's getting a little windy. Uh, we've got this fence off. Willow is right here by the edge. Oh, come on. We've had some focus issues. There we go. Let's see, I've got that here. Let's see. Here, you hold the bucket, bud. I'm just gonna lift this one up. Come on, Willa. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, start walking towards the new pen. All right. Not too shabby. Mamas don't mind a break from their piglets anyway. We always like to get the mamas across before we take the babies. So let's walk her over there. Come on, baby. Come on, Willa. There we go. Like I said, the adult pigs, never hard to move. It's the piglets that, uh, they're not used to following us yet, so you never know where they're gonna go. So we'll get Willow over here. Um, Isaiah came up with a good idea for the piglets. I was gonna try to carry them. She's got five left. I was gonna try to carry them. We're gonna use our blue tote and we'll get two or three of them in there at a time. Millie, it's not your turn yet. All right, here comes Willow. Come on, Willow. We do have Cal locked up right now, just so he doesn't interfere with our moving process. If you hear him barking back there.
llamas across successfully rather easy as well let's uh let's go do the fun part now and uh catch some piglets oh goodness. Just little monkey. all right guys cal is broke out of the chicken tractor we put him in <laughs> was it meant for chickens or for dogs we've got our bucket here not our bucket our plastic tote for moving pigs moving chickens you name it we move everything with it and it's super helpful um, these pigs are warming up to us but they're not going to follow us like i said here's josie's little piggers they're going to stay in here for today here we go here is millie's no willows Willow, she got six. I said five. I guess there was only five out nursing earlier. She does have six of them in here. We'll probably do about three at a time. So let's go ahead and grab them and we'll get them put in the tote to get over to mama. All right, we've got the first three. Let's get them over to mom. Hey. Hey. All right, first three over. I think Will is more worried about food and water than where her piggies are. Just kidding, she's wondering where they are. Anytime you pick up these little ones and they scream, mama's go crazy. So. Let's get her other three over here. They've got a lot of new area to explore and find their new house, but they'll follow mama around and it won't be an issue. All right, guys, we've got them moved over. We're not gonna press our luck. This is gonna be the only set that we move over today. This is Willow's group and her little piglets. Um, she's on this side of the barn. We are gonna have one more sow over there and another one around the corner. Um, that will give us three sows in the red barn. We've got two open pig loos. We'll put one here and one over there. That way we can run all the fences off of one charger. We'll get all the mamas out of the farming barn, let that area rest, get the poop and everything cleaned out of there. That way we'll be ready for summer litters. Um, I will wait until it's not supposed to rain to try and get these other mamas over here. Um, they're already enjoying whatever weed or grass that is. Some of these piglets are trying to sneak a drink. I've been informed that uh, Isaiah and Brooklyn have named all these we've been having them come outside and sit with the pigs and just to get the pigs warmed up to people and get used to people so isaiah i think if he can remember all these which i'm sure he can I think I do. he's gonna tell us who all these pigs are where do you want to start bud uh, we'll start with the ginger and black ginger right and black yep that one who's that andy andy what about this white one the white one right there is brad brad what about the white and brown the white and brown is zipper. How about that ginger one next to it? Uh, just the plain ginger? Yep, the plain ginger right okay. there. That's Lolly. Lolly, what about this tri-color, the white with the black spot on its butt? That is, um, 
Chompiana. Chompiana. And the, the black one is, who is the black one? Daisy. Daisy. So the kids have uh, named all the piglets already. Uh, not that those will stick, but it sticks with them. So they know who they're talking about when they tell, tell us about the piglets. So here's Willow's litter. Like I said, we'll get all five mamas out here eventually and uh, let that other area rest up and give them a fresh place. But we don't want to press our luck when it's rainy and kind of cold. Um, we want those piglets to find out where the house is, which I'm not worried about it, but they are always going to follow mama. When she goes in and lays down, they're going to go in and follow her. So glad to have these piglets out here on this fresh spot. We appreciate you guys following along with us. If you haven't already, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to make the change. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.